What's going on guys? Lies over here at Pond and Creations Farm. Welcome back to our channel. We are hanging out by the pond, but look, it's netted. So I have something better I want you to see. No, it's not this stunning tree or all the beautiful color that's happening back here on the homestead. Something better. It's the Halloween decorations. Guys, we are all set up for our trick-or-treaters and our not so spooky trail that we do. If you're near us in Connecticut, definitely stop in and check us out. We are gonna be open late the weekend before Halloween. At the end, I'm gonna give you a quick tour of everything that we have outside for blow mold. So stay tuned for that. Today's video has taken us inside and I'm gonna show you our new freeze dried pantry. And I'm gonna give you a little quick tour. Normally I'd be saying welcome to the pantry, but for this pantry tour, we're actually in my kitchen because this freeze dried food pantry is actually just this little cabinet that I cleaned out um, because I really wanted it as close to the stove as I could get it because I want to be incorporating it into my cooking. It's not something that I'm doing for long-term storage, although once I get better at the freeze drying, I will probably get some stuff into long-term storage. I figured before I got into showing you what I made, I'm going to show you guys how I started with this because this is stuff that's freeze dried that I've had on my shelf for a long time. And I incorporate it into my cooking all the time. I love it. I don't know where I would be without it, especially things like buttermilk. I mean, who has that all the time? Get yourself some powder. You can mix it with some milk or water and have buttermilk on hand whenever you need it. I have these individually packed into little sour cream things, but, and I'm not making this and like having sour cream, although you could. I'm using this in recipes that call for sour cream and I don't have any on hand. So I just use that. Thing with the eggs, like I've never used eggs as like whipped them and scrambled them, but I use it as a substitute. If I don't have enough eggs, I add more. If I need it in a recipe or something like that. And then peanut butter powder too. I need those for my chip, chipmunk ball recipe that I make. And the cheddar cheese powder, I mean, now you can make your own mac and cheese. You don't need to buy it. All right, so let's see what I have been up to. I'm gonna start down here with the snacky stuff. And I'll start with my first thing and that's a fail. This it was too sugary to work right. So we're gonna have to eat it in the next couple days here like candy. Uh, luckily I still have some freeze dried strawberries that we bought because they're a great healthy snack. We have really been loving this fruit salad. This is, I had made two and we have eaten a lot of that. The cantaloupe is exceptionally good. We had gotten it when it was really ripe, so it just tastes amazing. The blueberries, scrumptious. This sugared rhubarb has turned out to be the all-star of everything. It's something that I remember eating with my grandma as a snack in the summer for some candy. And man, it tastes like candy when it is freeze dried. You can say these ice creams were a hit and there's another whole tray in the freeze dryer right now. Then we've got some tomatoes and I've actually got some ripening in the house over here. I've got a whole thing of them. I gotta get them sliced in half and frozen because I'm gonna get them in the freeze dryer too. But then I powdered some and I powdered some separate. So I've got some sun gold powder. Oh my God, that's gonna be great in these winter months. And then I just did a mix of the powders too. And then we've got some zucchini, a couple different sizes. This will probably disappear in a recipe where as this will probably stay. The corn tastes like candy, guys. I mean, I love corn. Everybody loves corn. You gotta love corn. This corn isn't really juicy, but man, it tastes like candy. It's so yummy. Peppers, I made a meal with them this morning. So you'll have to check that out over on TikTok in the next couple days. We've got some peppers and pepper powder, celery, green beans, and I did green bean powder. I know that sounds weird, but I'm gonna see how it does in some rubs and stuff. We've got some kale and I did some kale powder. Then I did a spinach and sorrel powder. So it's really lemony. I actually added it to eggs this morning because I wanted to see how it would be and it was amazing. Lemongrass, we'll have to be using that in our cooking for sure. Chives, I made this mix. I'm gonna put this over here while I just tell you guys that I did some basil and parsley too. And this needs to get hand delivered today to my in-laws. My purse now so I don't forget it. So this is the rub that I've been making as we're going and the main ingredient so far is the celery, celery top powder. But then I did zucchini. It was when I did this batch, I had a couple extra. So of course I just threw it in there. Celery top powder, banana peppers, Parsley, I had ground up some bay leaf and put it in here. And then of course I did some cayenne pepper. I'm gonna make a huge thing of kale powder cause I have a bunch of frozen kale and get that into one of these half gallons and just dump this in and have a huge mixture of some green 
powder that'll go good in everything. You guys liked my little pantry tour with all the new freeze dried stuff. I'm gonna get it put in here. I'm doing veggies down one side, fruit down the other. Figured I would take this opportunity to tell you guys that freeze dried food has like a 25 plus year shelf life. I mean, I say 20, they say 25. I mean, I imagine it would keep for 50 years really in a cool dark place. Um, and it holds all of its nutrition. So unlike some other uh, like dehydrating and canning and stuff like that, um, those things lose nutrition over time, whereas this will not. So it's a great way to go. Another thing I love about it is it takes something that would go to waste, like the strawberries that are in my refrigerator right now. Instead, I'm just going to put them in the freezer and then I'm going to get them in the freeze dryer and we'll be eating them as snacks because for some reason they're not getting eaten. Maybe because they're out of season. I mean, I don't know. Parsley and the basil are going on my spice rack. Uh, but everything else is going in here. This I just need to, probably in my next batch, I'll do that kale so I can get that going. Um, and yeah, so guys, I hope you get some freeze-dried food and start incorporating it. Thanks for joining us at the farm today, everyone. I'm going to do a quick little garden tour if you want to stick around.